Hey everybody, as you can see, I'm getting some pallets unloaded. Just a little bit of housekeeping today. It's the day after Christmas. It's too cold to really do anything with the bees, but I, I got these pallets, as you can remember, a little over a week ago. We're just getting them unloaded from the trailer now. I'm gonna go feed corn syrup to the bees up in Ozark, and I already unloaded some stuff in another closet we have for some bee stuff a little while ago. I still need to get a few more boxes put together and wax dips, but I think we're okay for now, at least to get the season started. Pretty exciting times. Uh, 2020 is just about out of here, and bee season 2021 is coming up on us really fast. Some of you may have seen that I'm starting to use pallets uh, for some of my hives, and they're easier to move that way. A lot of the commercial guys use them, and uh, if you've got the proper equipment, uh, some sort of forks and the right kind of trailer or truck to move them around on, it makes it really handy. So let me show you real quickly how these pallets are set up, and I may even give you some measurements as well. I got these pallets from the bee house down in Bristol, Florida, a little over a week ago. We, we priced out the lumber to make them ourselves, and it was just not worth it to us. Lumber is very expensive right now. These are made out of treated lumber, uh, both the plywood and the boards. We've got three two by fours that form kind of the frame for it underneath. And then they put two pieces of plywood on top of that that are the right width to fit two 10 frame boxes on both sides here. They also have furring strips around the side that are cut, I think they're three quarters of an inch deep. And the hide body sits up on the furring strips. These W clips here hold it into place. And right here there's an opening. That's the entrance for the bees to go in and out of. If you flip it up, you'll see too, there are two stabilizing boards underneath that look like one by sixes they just put across it to make sure it's good and stable put the bee box on here like this it sits right up on the platform w clips holding in place of course you can put four of them on each pallet just like that there's a little bit of space right in between the hives right there. And the bees go in and out the entrance right here. Let me give some quick measurements here. So the three two by fours are each four feet long. So the entire pallet is four feet long. You can see right there. From front to back of each side is Between one and a half. Width of these is looks like it's about 33 and a quarter. These right here, I think, are three quarter by three quarter. The one in the middle is a little bit wider. Let's see, I think it's two and a quarter. Looks like it's about two and a quarter, two and an eighth, two and a quarter. This one right here is just basically one by two, I think. And then we got this middle one is about 15 and a half inches, but that doesn't matter that much. It can be off a little bit. So that's how they make them. I do still use uh, regular bottom boards from a lot of my production hives, but these have been handy for the hives that I want to move around from place to place. Ozark. We're letting this corn syrup drain into this tote. It's draining in as slow, but that's to be expected with the cold as it is. So we'll just kind of walk through the bee yard here a little bit. I think there are around a little over 20 hives out here, maybe. I haven't been in these hives in a long time. Right now, it's really too cold to peek into them. They, uh, they should all be clustered up in there. Uh, so I thought this was a dead out and peeked in there a little while ago and discovered a nice little cluster of bees. So we'll pick in there one more time. 
probably not the smartest thing to do, but there they are. Actually, they're a little filed up since I peeked in there. But see the nice cluster of bees? Actually, they've broken cluster a little bit since I peeked in. got some more down there hopefully they're all doing okay and alive I really just don't want to mess with them much today look at this right here this is interesting these bees have built a propolis like a break on the front of their hive they don't want to get cold I guess that's pretty interesting how each hive does things a little differently this is one way I've started doing stands I just took a cinder blocks we leveled them uh, two center blocks on each side so we almost had to bury those ones on that end got them level and then we put these four by fours on there they're eight foot four by fours and they work perfectly uh, for five hives all right it's flowing in there pretty good i'm down here at the lake uh, not far from the bees up here in ozark and if you remember a few weeks back, I planted some clover. It was, I think about mid-November, it was a little late to do it, uh, but I went ahead and ordered some seed and did it. So let's look down here. I pretty much planted it wherever there's grass all the way around this lake. I also put some up by the bees. It's starting to come up a little bit. Let's just see if we can find some here. There's sun right there, it looks like maybe. Sun right through here. Just so tiny hard to see there's quite a bit of it right there I think coming up maybe some of those little leaves right there right over here this is the first time I've been back up here since I planted this actually a little bit right there some right through there so right now it looks doesn't look too impressive but it's so tiny once it actually comes up maybe it'll look more impressive uh, live and learn if it uh doesn't come up that great this year i'll plant some more next year and i'll do it a little bit earlier in the season all down in here all this see it trying to pop up here's some here this a little further along oh look at all this i must have spilled some seed here so we're gonna have to definitely have some clover out here right over there if it grows around this lake and it fills in like I hope it will, it'll be absolutely beautiful and uh, provide some good forage for the bees. Well, we did a few different things today. We got some things moved around a little bit and unloaded. Uh, we got some corn syrup fed to the bees up here in Ozark and we checked the clover situation up here. It's definitely coming up in some areas, other areas I don't think it is, and in some areas I'm just not sure because the grass is so thick. But <clears throat> I appreciate y'all watching my videos throughout the world, wherever you may be. It's a lot of fun doing these videos. It is a fair amount of work, but I enjoy it. It's not a how-to channel. I know I do some things that many of you may not do, um, but it's more of a vlog than anything else. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you'll uh, continue to watch my videos. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you would. And I'd love, love it if you give me a thumbs up uh, if you like what you see and hit that notification bell to see future videos from me. Uh, that's a wrap, guys. Uh, thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. On the next video.